Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here I have the high grade after colony Leo. Um, I'm super hyped about this because I, I've never had a Leo, whether it was a figure or it was a uh, one of the old high grades. Um, so this is the first Leo I'm gonna have in my collection, and I, I think it's a it's such a cool grunt design. It, it's it's basic. But it's very simplistic to the fact that it's aesthetically pleasing. It's not cluttered um, And these are like just really like just normal kits that you can buy a whole bunch of and create your own army as depicted in this awesome background right here um, So looking at the front cover everything looks fantastic. I love this. This is like this is a really cool uh, cool front art uh, for uh, a Gundam high grade so if you're all into like saving uh, the front covers and maybe framing framing bleh, framing them or something, uh, this would definitely be something you want to do. And this came out in May 2018. There's number 211 in the overall high grade line, uh, so I guess they're including the After Colony uh, with the UC line. And looking here on the side, you're gonna have beam sabers, rifle, and a shield as his weapon. The shield can be mounted to the shoulder. And here they're just kind of mentioning, like, since this is a part of the whole uh, Gunpla Evolution project, um, it's a fine build in the sense that it's gonna be very simplistic of a build, but the quality will be very high. And then here it kind of just shows that the main runner is gonna be separated into different types of parts. So one, you know, one side is gonna be a right arm, the other side is gonna be a left arm, the body, uh, you know, right leg, left leg. So it's gonna be pretty diverse when it comes to uh, the runner and not just kind of like scattered throughout the entire. Uh, box of runners and here is a brief description of the mobile suit this kit does retail for 1,000 yen uh, which comes out to about ten dollars so that's a really good price point for this model okay so before we get into this kit I'm telling y'all right now there's not one sticker in this entire kit I I cannot say that there has been one high grade I've ever built uh, that that did not come with stickers. So right now this kit is is phenomenal. The fact that it doesn't have a sticker. Uh, but let's look at runner A. So obviously it's going to be divided with the arms up there. Looks like legs going to be right here, uh, arm right here, and then the main body and torso is going to be in this general area, and then the head part is going to be right there with some of the uh, the shield in this general area. So there's going to be a lot of separation. Um, looks really good. It's very very nice military green. Uh, a lot of detail. So I, I really want to paint some of these stuff like. Um, like right the like right here these like little knee uh, parts. I want to paint those um, up um, Definitely want to paint up just a lot of different areas, you know do some nice little panel lining So this is just really really nice uh, very fine details um, Even some of it like kind of like this uh, looks like it's gonna be the back of the legs um, Even though it's very plain you can definitely uh, etch some panel lines right inside there uh, so that looks like it's going to be very fantastic if you want to do some uh, nice customization or anything of this sort on here. All right, next is Runner B. This looks more, it's like a weird tan. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with tan. It, it's actually like a, more like a dark brown, I would probably say. Uh, but overall, it looks really good. So you're going to have... Um, you know, arm, well, uh, arm, shoulders, uh, hands. Looks like it's gonna be for the feet, uh, legs. So pretty much, yeah, legs, arms, and then not really too sure what this is probably gonna be. It looks like it's gonna be for the shoulders, and this might be for uh, the waist. But overall, this looks fine. It's gonna be most uh, mostly the inner frame stuff. And here's the last big runner. So it's gonna be runner C. Uh, looks like it's gonna have all the weapon stuff right here, as well as the waist. Uh, then you're gonna have some of the feet parts, and there's gonna be uh, parts for the weapon as well. And then this looks like might be I forgot what this was. This might be yeah, this is a chest. So that's a chest piece. That's probably gonna be a shield. You got the beam sabers. You got the eye piece right there. Uh, some red parts for the head. But overall, it looks really good. Some good color separation with this black. You got the red. You got the gray, and then you got the clear uh, yellow piece right there. So overall, fantastic. And lastly, you get a small polycap sheet, and you also get some nice little beam savers. Okay, and taking a look at the instruction manual, so this is definitely going to be uh, pretty short and simplistic. It's kind of going over the, um, basically how everything's so segregated on the runners, that it's like, hey, all these parts are going to be for one limb. Uh, looks really good, and we're going to start with the legs right here. Oh, it's, it's going to be all in color. Is it? Okay, no, not the inside. <laughs> but... Uh, 
black and white. So basically all the uh, instructions on how to build it. Looks really good. Um, I like I like more of the detail in these uh, these high grays now. So it looks it looks fantastic. I mean, you're gonna have your color guide. You also have uh, some details of the Leo suit. Looks like it's gonna be more stuff, kind of just de uh, detailing the uh, different armaments, so the rifle, the beam saber, and the shield. But overall, looks fantastic, and I am super excited to build this. Um, I should have this done tomorrow. I'm probably gonna do some little shading here and there, uh, just to kind of like add a little detail to it, because it, it is a very, very basic build. So I'm gonna do all I can to make this kind of just stand out a little bit more if I can. But that's it for me guys. Definitely thank you for watching and stay tuned for the review which should be tomorrow and I'll see you in that review. Bye bye.